Today I'm going to take you through step by step how to create a groovy retro Christmas t-shirt design for your store. If you've been doing any sort of print on demand research recently, you've probably seen that the groovy Halloween designs have just exploded this year and done super well. So many of them have become almost instant bestsellers. And I'm starting to see that groovy designs in those retro color schemes are really starting to sell for Christmas already. So today I am going to walk you through how I create a groovy Christmas design using just Canva and other free tools. So if you want to learn how to do that, just keep watching. I'm Hannah and on this channel I talk all about print on demand and making passive income online. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you would press subscribe and give this video a like. It really helps out my channel. So I am just logged in to my Canva account and you can use the free version or the paid version. I feel like the paid version is just a lot easier to use and has a lot more tools. So then I'm just gonna go over and create a design in a custom size. And so for Merch by Amazon and a lot of their print on demand platforms, I like to use the size 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. So I'm gonna create a design with that. Okay, so now that I am in here, I am just going to add some text. So I think we're gonna do two rows of text here. So the nice thing about this is you could really do any kind of Christmas phrase that you wanted. A lot of times to get ideas, I'm just gonna look up something like a cute Christmas shirt and see what is selling it well. So by looking at these, see Merry and Bright, I run on coffee and Christmas cheer, just looking for some inspiration. So Merry Christmas, a lot of these are super simple, classic Christmas phrases. So that gives me some ideas of what I can do. I think I'm just gonna do something simple that will sell well. Simple really does well in this retro style. So I think I'm going to do Merry and Bright. Okay, so the font is going to be a really important thing in this. So the one that I like to use, it's called Nectarine. So it's kind of that bubble groovy style. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make these a little bit bigger. Already that's super cute. You don't have to do much if you have a good font is what I think. All right, so I wanna kind of line these up. I'm gonna do the same size. Okay, so that's already looking good, but today we are actually gonna take it to the next level by doing some of that wavy text. So it is possible to do that in Canva, but I think it kind of looks a little bit messy. There's not a super easy way. So we are just going to create the design straight across first, but a really important factor for this is going to be the colors today. So I actually went ahead and I kind of created a retro Christmas palette. I think in this retro style, you want almost to lean more into the like cranberries and turquoises and blues and pinks, as well as the red is gonna still make it look a little bit Christmassy. So I'm not gonna use all these colors, but I think I am going to kind of just alternate between what colors that I'm doing. Oh, that pink looks really good. And this is definitely going to be a little bit more of a girly design but you could really change up the colors. You could even do more of like a candy cane um, with just white and red, or you could do all sorts of different Christmas palettes. Sometimes I just like to look up retro Christmas palette or retro color scheme or 1970s. So you can just look something up and take inspiration from what you see there. All right, so already our design is looking super good. I am going to download it and standard practice when you are making t-shirt designs is you are going to want to download it with a transparent background. Okay, so that is saved. And now I am going to go over to Photopea. If you're not familiar with Photopea, it's kind of a Photoshop-esque website, but it is free to use. So I'm just gonna create a new project and I'm gonna do the same size, so 4,500 by 5,400, and then I'm gonna create it on a transparent background. Okay, so already we have that. And now I am just gonna go ahead and drag that artwork that we just created right here. 
Okay, so this is where the magic is going to happen. This is super simple. So you're gonna go to edit and you're gonna scroll down to where it says transform and you wanna push warp. So this is going to give you the ability to right here, pick what style of warping that you want. So there are a few different options, like there's this arc you can do. So I just select it all so I can drag that down. We can see it a little better. Okay, that is cute, but we are going to do something a little different. Okay, so we are going to go to transform and select warp. So there, you can play around with all of the different styles, but the one that I like to do for this groovy Christmas style, the groovy Halloween style, is to do the flag. So, okay, right now it looks really crazy and really extreme because if you see here, it has a 50% bend. But we are going to take that down to, honestly, I think 15% is going to be good. All right, so now we just got to drag this down a little bit. So I select all. I'm just going to bring that down. And doesn't that look super cute? So now we're just going to go to file and then you want to export it as a PNG. You can just call it whatever the title is and then you are just going to save it to your computer. Now we are all ready to go ahead and upload that to Merch by Amazon. All right, so I am in my Merch by Amazon account and I am just going to go ahead and drag and drop what we just made. And there you go. That looks super cute, but you could also go ahead and change up the colors that you're gonna offer it on. But that is how you're gonna create that wavy text and you can go crazy with this. You could do Merry Christmas, you can look up funny trending phrases and just go crazy with what you're going to put on your design. The options are really limitless, but I just think that this wavy text is a really cool tool to know how to do. And a lot of times, if you don't have Photoshop, you feel like you can't do these, but you really can just using free tools. So just grab yourself a groovy font, create a graphic in Canva, and then just edit it in Photopea, and you are good to go. So hope that helps you guys. I would love to hear what kinds of groovy Christmas designs you're coming up with. I'm excited to get some of mine uploaded and hopefully we make some groovy Christmas sales. And if you're looking for even more help on creating a best selling Christmas design, I have this video right here where I walk you completely through everything from research to creation to uploading and keywords for your best selling design. So make sure you give that a watch and I hope it helps you guys out. I will see you in my my next video.